Hey Cash or Derek here, Baker Six Slam. Today we're gonna to be finishing up the post office creative cash, and there's gonna be a lot of little steps that we're gonna be doing, so you don't wanna miss it. So let's get started. Okay, so before we can go in and start putting all the little objects that we got at the craft store, I need to go in and kind of do some airbrush painting here in the background of this to really make it look really cool. And what I want to do is I want to set up kind of a southwest kind of with the buttes and all that kind of stuff in the background with the rocks and everything back here in the background to make it look really cool so when I put it in the post office it's going to be set into that scene. So that's what I need to do now is actually I'm going to take some of this transparency film and I'm going to go ahead and cut out some templates that I can actually place in here and go back and airbrush. That way I'm not getting airbrush and the paint all over the place. It's gonna be just right where I want to. So that is the first step I'm gonna do before I lay in the floor or anything else. I'm gonna get this background set up for this cache. So like I said, let's get this done. And this is just the first step before we get everything in place to put this cache out live. Okay, so now the airbrushing is done. And if you notice, there's nothing air really airbrushed right here and I have this big, huge streak here. Well, that's okay because that's where the post office is gonna go and it's gonna go right up against this. So you're not gonna see that. It just kind of fades off into the background. And I think this turned out really cool. And like I said, this is just the backdrop. So I didn't wanna have a lot of super, super detail in it, but I wanted some little bit of texture and stuff like that in there as well. Now, the next step is I need to go ahead and put the floor in and then go ahead Ed, and put the post office in and get that mounted. And then we can start going in and start putting all of the cowboys and the rocks and the other shrubbery and everything else into place. So let's go ahead and get the floor and the bank in and then we'll go to the next step. So now I've gotten the floor in and the post office is in place and it is solid in there. I used my nail gun and kind of got down below and then I also put some security screws into the back of it so that it is locked there in place. Now one of the things I wanted to show you is when I went to the craft store I got some cowboys and th this is the cowboy set that I got with, with like this one here and what I noticed actually when I was kind of messing around I put it here and he looks super super tiny. So I went online uh, to Amazon and ordered some three inch ones. And these are a little bit bigger. They're still not as big as I wanted to, them to be, but you know what? I think it's still gonna work. It's gonna look really cool in here. So um, I'll leave a link down in the description for those down there. And these little cowboys, guess what they just became? They became swag for this cash. All right, so now let's go and start adding that gingerbread in here. So the shrubbery, the rocks, and all that aspect in here. And I'll be adding that in with just using a hot glue gun and getting it in place. So now let's go ahead and add those in. So now I've even got the top on. Now the doors aren't actually in place because I do want these to open up like barn doors, like we talked about before. So this, they'll open up 
and on each side of this is going to be the clue to be able to get into the box and how I'm going to be putting that on. So I'm going to show you this side first because I'm not going to show you the other one because it actually has the combination to be able to get into the post office box. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this here, put this wanted poster onto the hinge door itself and this will be the clue of what they're supposed to be doing to be able to get into here. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some Mod Podge and we're going to go ahead and put some Mod Podge on this and I'll show you how, I, how I'm going to do this. And it's going to take several coats so I'm just going to show you like the first few coats and then uh, we'll talk about more about this cache. So let's go ahead and get this Mod Podge done and see how it really looks. You ready? Let's go. All right, so there it is. This one is already on there. Now this is just the first coat. I'm gonna have to go back through the next several hours or days and kind of keep putting little thin coats on this so it seals this paper really, really well. And this will be the door once this goes on. And I just think this looks really, really cool. I, let me know in the comments, what do you think? What do you think how this looks? Does it look really great? I am so excited. I, I really like this one, I'm proud of this one. And for those that are coming out to Cash Fest, my plan is for this one to be out at Cash Fest. So I hope you find it and it's going to be a different icon. I mean, what would go really well with it being a post office box cash? That's right, a letterbox hybrid. So I'm in the process of finding the stamp that's gonna go on this and then it's gonna be a letterbox hybrid. Uh, there's very few of them here in the Memphis area. So this one will be one that I think will be a lot of fun. All right, I hope you've enjoyed this. Thanks for joining me in this entire series of doing this whole cache, finding the, showing the piece of the, the mailbox, uh, the piggy bank that I found at a thrift store, going to the store to actually get the items at the craft store, and then painting the outside where I got to try out a new tool, and then today as I got to finish it up and get everything ready to go. I hope you've enjoyed it. Leave me a comment down below and let me know. All right. But hey, thanks for joining me and check out another video just right over here and find the story behind the cache.